Desensitizing a dog to a nail trim starts way before the nail trim. As you're going to see here, we're going to teach the dog a touch command. We want to prompt the dog to touch our hand with his nose, and in return, he receives a reward. This is like a little give and take kind of game. What's going to happen is, in our next section, we are going to put the nail trimmers in our hand. This way, the dog builds a positive association with the equipment that we're going to use. Now, initially, he's resistant to touch the hand, so we put the trimmers down and he's willing to touch. Again, resistant to the trimmers, we go to put them down, and he's willing to touch. This proves that the dog knows exactly what we're asking of him. As we go through this process, he's increasingly more willing to touch the hand with the trimmers. And then we're also going to start to phase out the treats. Okay. We're going to replace the treats with a good boy, with a pet. Now, as you'll see here, there's no more treats. He's still prompted to touch. And now it's all praise driven. So also he's going to increasingly look to touch as he goes there. He's even more eager to touch for praise than he is for food. And trust me, Tiki is a chow hound. He is a very highly food motivated dog. But as you can see, he is more motivated by praise to touch the hand. Now we take it to the next step. Notice Emily is holding in in his restraint hold in which we talked earlier. Now we're going to desensitize one nail at the time. So we're going to take the trimmers, which we've already built positive association with. We're going to tap the nails. The reason dogs are resistant to nail trims is it's this super invasive thing that we only do to them every six or eight weeks. This is a routine that you need to do every single day as part of your normal petting, grooming, and vetiquette regimen. Remember to help your vet help your pet. As you've seen in this clip so far, we started with tapping each nail and treat after each nail. We're now at tap all the nails on one foot before the reward happens. What we're doing is we're delaying the reward. Now we're at both front feet before he receives the reward. We're now going to move to all four feet. As you can see here in the video, this is something that you have to build up and before today, we had not done this with Tiki specifically so that you could see that in even in a couple of minutes, you can achieve these results if you take the process as we have shown you. So now he's getting a jackpot. We did all four feet, so he got all four treats. <laughs>